Okay, well, I'm putting my attendance sheet to the side. Okay, so today's class is completely devoted to Passover songs. Um, some of these, well, two of the songs, I think, are actually sort of part of the Seder. So a lot of the songs associated with Passover, in my opinion, are not really part of the Seder service, part of the you know, words that you'll find in the Seder. Um, Eliyahu Hanavi is, because that's part of the paragraph. If you read anything in Hebrew when you're welcoming Eliyahu, those words are part of that. Um, Dayenu um, is right after the 10 plagues is usually where you'll find it in a Haggadah, right? So any one of these things would have been enough. Dayenu, you gave us so many things, God, but you know, you can, and you kept giving us things. Um, so um, that's part of the Magid section, the story of, of the Passover Seder. Um, and then you have Echad uh, Miyodea, who knows one, Hadgad Ya. Um, neither of those is at all part of the Seder service. They're just songs that developed over the years, I think. Had um, Gad Ya, I learned today from, uh, so we, we went over Had Gad Ya. Had Gad Ya is the crazy song about things my father bought with two Zuzim, right? He bought this one kid goat and then these terrible things happened. The cat ate it, the dog did this to the cat, this did that to the dog, you know, and he keeps building. That song apparently um, is, millennium old and um, was from a German song, I think, originally, and then developed. So it's not in Hebrew. Um, it, it might be in Aramaic, I think, or Yiddish. It's, but it's, not, it's not Hebrew, which makes sense to me when you try reading it. Echad um, Miodea, who knows one, um, is in Hebrew. And um, I'm not sure the origin of that, but um, I will tell you that. Um, That's Sabine. Good. Karen. Oh, good. Karen and Sabine. Thank I you. I always have trouble um, finding the Zoom link. That's why I'm late. I looked in February. I find it in oh. February. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll send a new one for the class we're going to have in three weeks because we're off oh. for two weeks. So I'll send, I'll write myself a note to send an, the link again. Thank and you. I have anyway. so many garbage things in between until I find it. I hear you. So um, I was talking about Who Knows One, Echad Mi Odea, which is another song that builds and builds and builds. It goes Who Knows One all the way to Who Knows 13. And um, the recording I'm going to share with you they sing who knows one, who knows two, and then they skip to who knows 13. So I could not find one where they sing the whole song. I think it just goes on for far too long. Um, I did find a beautiful, beautiful um, Had Gad Ya with all of the verses, which there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's 10 verses to Had Gad Ya, and I found one with all 10 verses that's really lovely. So at any rate, um, let's get started. Um, we're going to start with Eliyahu Hanavi, which if you look in your Haggadah that you have and look for, so after you, we eat the dinner and you do Birkat Hamazon, Grace After Meals, then you should have a page for welcoming Eliyahu. Um, I am going to share my screen. Um, okay, I'm going to move this over. All right, so I have it up on my screen. Good. Um, tell me if it's large enough or you want me to make it bigger. It's good. It's good? Perfect. Okay, excellent. Okay, so, um, you know, this is just... The whole song is just the one sentence saying um, how we're looking forward to the day when Eliyahu the prophet comes and he ushers in the Messiah. 
That's the whole concept of the song, okay? Simeon, you're outside in some beautiful place. Where are you? You, I am in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that is not your usual okay. backdrop. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's beautiful. The weather is perfect. And of course, the sun is shining, <laughs> which is a delight. That's yes. so nice. I wish I could say the same about Chicago. It's horrible. Here, <laughs> All we can say is it will get better. It will get better. Spring in Chicago is such a mixed bag. Yesterday, it rained, snowed, and sleeted, I think, uh, oh, depending on, on which hour you were looking out the window or I was outside, you know, running errands. And I was like, oh, man, really? And it was opening day at Wrigley Field. So, of course, the weather was positively miserable. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, let's read, yes? Yes. Um, Susan, will you read the first line for us? Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishbi. Hatishbi, perfect. Um, Marsha, will you read the next line? Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi. Thank you. Gladi, really good Adi. It's actually Giladi. It should be Giladi, but we when we sing it, we tend to say Giladi. We we move the lamid sort of over to this. Agil uh, Agil um, Adi. Right, but it's Gil Adi, exactly. That's the pronunciation. Um Eileen. Bim Bim Heru. Ra. Ra. Begim hey ra. There you go. Begim me nu. So here, this is an ah. Ya, ya, be ya, me nu. Perfect. Yav, yavo, mm hmm. A, le, a, a, le, ya. Wait, wait, wait. A, le. This is an A. So it's, you were right. A, le, nu. Ele nu, exactly. Bimhe ra, biyame nu, yavo, ele nu. That's the, and then the last line. Um, uh, Sivian, will you read the last line? Sure. Im Moshiach ben David. So now this, it's Mashiach. Mashiach. Mashiach ben David. That's right. Im Mashiach ben David. Perfect. Okay. So, I would like to get up. I don't know why this thing won't go away. I can't make this move to bottom. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to listen to, here it is. Uh, Rabbi Ahuva Zacks is going to sing to us because we really like her. So if you want to mute yourself and sing with her, feel free to do that. Here she is. <clears throat> Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishbi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi, Bimhera Eyamenu, Yavo Eyamenu. That's all there is to the song. It's very sweet, right? It's very short and simple. So that's that. So now, um, Dayenu, on the other hand, let's bring this back. Okay, so um, make this go away. Hold on, hold on. I did not mean to start that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so Dayenu, <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot get this to stay where I want it. Okay. Um, Dayenu um, is a song about enough. That would have been enough for us, right? 
and um, it comes in the, I'll show you in the Haggadah. Um, so it's page 31 in the Rabbinical Assembly Haggadah. Um, whoa. So, um, it's 19 in this one. Okay, great. Thank you. So hold on. I apologize. I'm trying to, all right. So why won't this, okay, now I can, I'm trying to maximize you guys again. Well, this is not what I'm looking for. I apologize. I'm trying to get you just where I want you. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> um, okay, so the song that we sing is, is only a part of this very long thing that they have in the Haggadah. So here it is. I'll make it a smidge smaller. So this is it. Kama ma'alot tovot lamakom aleinu. So all the things, the numerous things you've done, um, any one of them would have been enough. And this part that we tend to sing, at least that we're going to have a, we'll listen to Rabbi Ahuva Zach, she sings the first line, Ilohotzianu um, mimitzrayim. She sings a middle line down here, which is et uh, hashabbat, ilu natan lanu et hashabbat. And then she sings this line, ilu natan lanu et hatora. And that's all, that's all she sings as opposed to singing all of this, which doesn't surprise me. Um, this is a lot. Um, do any of you sing this at your seders? Yes? yes. Do you, how, how many verses do you sing? <laughs> Not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So usually somebody reads the English and we all sing Dayenu. You sing a refrain. That's what we do. We just sing the refrain. We don't bother with all the verses. But let's let's go back to Rabbi Ahuva Zacks. And so she's going to sing, I believe, those three verses, all right? And if you want to sing with her, you can. Um, just mute yourselves. Ilu hoti hoti anu hoti anu mi mitraim hoti anu mi mitraim dayenu day dayenu day dayenu day dayenu 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 day dayenu day dayenu day dayenu Okay, so I thought that was lovely. Um, anything anyone want to ask or go over? We're good? Okay, so now, do I have it open? I do. Let's see what this does for us. Okay, so this song, Avadim Hayinu, when we were slaves, this is obviously part of the Magid portion as well. And um, 
I could not find a page for it and I could not find, um, let's see if it's, oh, I, uh, so it's, it should be, I, I'm really sorry that I could not find specific, oh, here it is. So it's right after the four questions. Avadim hayinu lefaro b'mitzrayim. Um, so, but I don't think it's exactly the words of this song. So, but let's listen. I think this is a beautiful version of it and um, very Israeli. So here goes. <laughs> Very soft, hard to hear. Sorry, say again. Turn it louder. Okay, I'll make it louder. I'm gonna back up a little bit and make it louder. saying that's not exactly what's in the Haggadah. Um, in the, the Hebrew in the Haggadah, Avadim Hayinu Lefaro Bimitzrayim, um, I go through this and it's, it's just not what this song is, but clearly the song is inspired by this paragraph, which, um, as I say, comes right after the four questions. Um, but let's keep going. Um, so now we're going to get into Echad Miodea. So Echad Miodea, but let's. Um, who knows? So let's try and find this in your Haggadot. Who knows one? I think. Uh, let me let me see what page I have it on. Echad Miodea, sixty-two. Okay. So let's go to page sixty-two. Okay, Echad Miodea. I'm gonna move this out of my way. I'm gonna make this bigger. All right, we're gonna. It's we're gonna on look. page 45 of this one. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see what I have for. Sure. On me Dan, this is hard guys. Yeah. <clears throat> in in this one, I have it on page 22, 22 and 23. So it's sort of the middle of the book of this family, American family Haggadah. Okay. Um, but I also have it here on the screen, and I can make it even a little bit bigger if I can do. Oh, maybe that's too big, but let's see what I can do here. I'm going to move you guys to this side. And here we go. Okay. Echad Miodea. Yes, you see it. So uh, there's a couple of things I just wanted to do to point out um, this, the Hebrew of this. Okay. So, um, so the song is the, the structure of the song is who knows one, Echad Miodea. So the, the way Hebrew works is, me yodea, who knows, and the one is here. So one, who knows it, you know. Echad ani yodea, I know one. Echad eloheinu shabashamayim uva aretz. 
So God, our God, in the heaven and on the earth. That's the first one, okay? Shnaim mi odea. Who knows two? Shnaim ani odea. I know two. And now the, the structure of the, of the word for two changes to shnei luchot habrit. So it goes from shnaim, because of the way the question is posed, the plural of who in the masculine, to now shnei luchot habrit, the two tablets of the Ten Commandments, the two tablets of the covenant, Shnei Luchot Habrit, Echad Eloheinu, Shabbat Shemai, Muva Aretz. And I think the reason for this song is just to teach children counting and concepts that are associated with the, these numbers, right? Um, and I'm pretty certain that that's how I, how and when I learned this. Um, Shlosha, three, Miodea. And Someone asked in my morning class, but don't when we count, don't we say echad shtayim shalosh? And the answer is yes, we do when we count. But again, these are different forms of the same numbers of, you know, shtayim shalosh. So shlosha mi odea, who knows three? Shlosha ani odea, I know three. Shlosha avot, the three forefathers, right? Our, uh, ma our matriarch. Arcs. Um, I'm sorry, our patriarchs, our forefathers. Yes? Yes. Yes, I misspoke. So these are the our patriarchs. Um, and then it repeats everything else, right? Shnei Lucho Tabrit, Echad Eloheinu, Shabbat Shemaim, Uva Aretz. And here, Arba Miodea, who knows four. Arba Aniodea, I know four. Arba Imachot, Imachot. So our four matriarchs, Shlosha Avot, our three patriarchs, Shnei Luchot Habrit, the tablets of the covenant, Echad Eloheinu Sheba Shemayim of Arts, one God. And now we are up to five. Hamisha Mi Odea, Hamisha Ani Odea, Hamisha Chumshe Torah, the five books of the, Mo of, of the Bible, right, of Moses. Hushe Torah Arba Imahot Shlosha Avot Shnei Luchot Habrit Echad Eloheinu Shabbat Shemayim Uvaaretz Shisha Miodea Six Who knows Six Shisha Sidre Mishnah So the six books of the Mishnah or the six Hamisha Hushe Torah Arba Imahot Shlosha Avot Shnei Luchot Habrit, Echad Eloheinu, Shabbat Shemayim, Uva Aretz. This is a good one to practice because of the repetition, obviously. So Shiva Miodea, who knows seven? Shiva Aniodea. Shiva Yemei Shabta, the seven days of the week. Shisha Sidre Mishnah, the six books of the Mishnah. Hamisha Chumshe Torah. Arba imahot, shlosha avot, shnei luchot habrit, echad eloheinu, shabbat shemaim, uva aretz. Okay, now we're on to eight. Shmona, mi yodea, shmona, ani yodea, shmona yemei mila. Eight days to the bris is what this is saying. Eight days, yeah. Shiva Yemei Shabbata, seven days of the week. Shisha Sidre Mishnah, Hamisha Chumshe Torah, Arba Imahot, Shlosha Avot, Shnei Luchot Habrit, Echad Eloheinu, Shabbat Shemaim Uva Aretz. Okay, nine. Tisha Miodea, Tisha Aniodea, Tisha Yarchei Leida. Nine months to childbirth. This one I did not remember or recognize. I had to look it up. <laughs> My Hebrew is not good enough to figure this one out. Tisha yi tisha yar chay li leda shmona yeme mila shiva yeme shabta shisha sidre mishna chamisha chumshe torah arba imachot shlosha avot shnei luchot habrit. Echad Eloheinu, Shabbat Shemaim, Uva Aretz. Asara 
mi yodea. So this is 10. Eser is 10. So asara mi yodea, asara ani yodea, asara dib raya. Uh, the Ten Commandments. So uh, diber is to speak or to say. So 10 things that he said, the Ten Commandments. Tisha, uh, tisha yarche leda, shmona, yeme mila, shiva, yeme shabta, shisha, sidre mishna, hamisha, humshe Torah, arba imahot, shlosha avot, shne luchot habrit, echad eloheinu, shabashamayim uva aretz. We are now up to 11. Achat asar, mi yodea. Achat asar, so eser being 10, achat or echad being one, so you put it together, you get 11. Achat asar, koch vaya. This is the 11 stars in Jacob's dream. So kochavim uh, are stars in the sky. So I think the, the notion is that it's implied that these are the stars of Jacob's dream, because there's not enough words here to be saying that, but that's what this is referring to. Asara dibraya tisha yarche leda shmona yeme mila shiva yeme shabta shisha sidre mishna chamisha chumshe Torah arba imahot shlosha avot shnei luchot habrit. Echad Eloheinu Shabashamayim Uva Arech. Shneim Asar. Shneim Asar. So this would be 12. Shneim Asar Ani Yodea. Shneim Asar Shivtaya. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. I don't know what this word exactly means. Shivtaya. Shivtaya. Yeah. Achad asar koch vaya asara dibraya. And again, they took poetic license, I'm sure, with some of these words, right? Because of these endings, right? Shivtaya, koch vaya, dibraya, right? Tisha, yarche leida, shmona, yeme mila, shiva, yeme shabta, shisha, sidre mishna. Hamisha Humshe Torah, Arba Imahot, Shlosha Avot, Shne Luchot Habrit, Echad Eloheinu Shabashamayim Uva Aretz. And the last one, I believe, is this one. 13. Right, 13. Shlosha. Yeah, Shlosha Asar Miodea. So who knows 13? I know 13. Shlosha Asar Midaya. The 13 attributes of God, midaya. And again, I don't know how they get that out of this word, but here we are. Shneim asar shiv taya, achad asar koch vaya, asara dib raya, tisha yarche leda, shmona yeme mila, shiva yeme shabta. Shisha Sidre Mishna Hamisha Humshe Torah Arba Imahot Shlosha Avot Shne Luchot Habrit Echad Eloheinu Excuse me, Sheba Shemaim Uva Aretz. All right, so I'm going to play you a lovely version where, as I said, I believe. They, they um, sing the first two and then they swoop down and do the last one. Let me find it. Echad uh, Miodea, right? Yes, this should be it. I have to move you guys over. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Eha, 
On um, the 11th verse. Yeah. Mine says 11 are the stars in Joseph's dream. What did I say? Jacob. I apologize. I meant to say <laughs> Joseph. That's my fault. <laughs> that is my mistake. And then uh, I have a question because you yes. did not bring up the song I Dear Who. Well, yes. Okay. So I do have I Dear Who here on my. We sang that when I was a child. Yes. So, um, I, so here's I Dear Who. Can y'all see this? Uh, can I make it bigger? Hold on, let's see. Well, I can, I guess I can make it full screen, but that's about, now I don't know if you can see it. Um, so yes, the question with I Dear Who is, so it's page 61. So where exactly is it? In the Haggadah, um, I was having trouble finding it. Uh, it's page 44 in this one. 44 in this one. I don't have that one anymore. Okay, yeah, I have that one downstairs. I don't have it. So hold on one second. So I only have it, <clears throat> I have it in the very center of, of my old simple Haggadah where they just have some songs and some music. <clears throat> um I kept one. <clears throat> but um so yes, Adir Hu, Yivne Beto Bakarov, right? Yes. Bimhe Ra, Bimhe Ra, Biame Nu Bakarov, El Bene, El Bene, Bene Bita Bakarov. So this actually I don't know that I have well, let's listen to this version. Um I don't know how many stanzas. Susan, do you know how many stanzas this is? Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, I guess 14, Holy two cow. line stanzas. Okay. Well, <laughs> I have, this is two and a half minutes long. We'll listen to this one too. Here goes nothing. Okay. I didn't, listen to, <laughs> I didn't listen to it all the way through. I mean, as you can see, I prepared for it. I brought it. I, I got it on my screen and everything, but I didn't listen to the end. So let's give it a go. Because in my Haggadah, I, don't, I couldn't find all the stanzas. So, but let's listen. Ah, uh, dear who, ah, uh, dear who. Yivne beito bekaro bin hera bin hera yameinu bekaro el bene el bene bene beita bekaro bakur hu gado hu dagu hu yivne beito bekaro 
במהרה, במהרה, בימינו בקרו, אל בני, אל בני, בני ביתך בקרו, אדור הוא, ותיק הוא, זכאי הוא, יבנה ביתו בקרו, במהרה, במהרה, בימינו בקרו, אל בני, אל בני, בני ביתך בקרו, חסיד הוא, טהור הוא, יחיד הוא, יבנה ביתו בקרו, במהרה, במהרה, בימינו בקרו, אל בני, אל בני, בני ביתך בקרו, כביר הוא, למוד הוא, מלך הוא, יבנה ביתו בקרו, במהרה, במהרה, בימינו בקרו, אל בני, אל בני, בני ביתך בקרו. נורא הוא, שגיב הוא, עיזוז הוא, יבנה ביתו בקרו, במהרה, במהרה, בימינו בקרו, אל בני, אל בני, בני ביתך בקרו, הקודה הוא, שגיב הוא, קדוש הוא, יבנה ביתו בקרו, במהרה, במהרה, בימינו בקרו, אל בני, אל בני, בני ביתך בקרו, רחום הוא, שדי הוא, תקיף הוא, יבנה ביתו בקרו, במהרה, במהרה, בימינו בקרו, אל בני, אל בני, בני ביתך בקרו. Well, that was nice. I like how he speeds up. Um, that's pretty typical, honestly. <laughs> And the good thing about Adir Hu is they're like one syllable words, except for the refrain, right? The refrain is It's very short words in this song. So it's not that difficult if also if you've been drinking a lot, it's just not that difficult. And there's a lot of repetition, right? So, um, all right. Um, so now we did Eliyahu, right? We haven't done Avadim Hayinu. Did we do Avadim Hayinu? I don't think we did it. Uh, did we do, ladies, remind me, did we do Avadim Hayinu? I think we did. We did, actually. I know we did. I apologize. We did Avadim Hayinu. I'm going to close this so I know we did it. We did Eliyahu Hanavi. We haven't done Had Gad Yah. Had Gad Yah. Yeah. Um, so Had Gad Yah is a crazy prayer. Um, we did Dayenu. Um, and we just did Adirhu. Okay, so... Let's, um, Hagad Yah um, is again, it's not part of the Seder service. It's a crazy building song that is clearly um, silly. There are lovely versions in English, um, but of course I am not gonna share that with you. Um, that, um, like, I don't know if you know the actor Jack Black. There's a YouTube of Jack Black. His kids apparently love the uh, version that he does of this song that um, he's Jewish and, you know, he, he does it for them at Passover and it's very sweet. But um, in this, the Haggadah of one of my students from this morning, um, she found an explanation for why this song is here because we were all wondering, you know, if you, if you know any of the lyrics, so the lyrics are one kid that my father bought with two Zuzim, right? So it's talking about a goat. Then it goes, then came the cat and devoured the, the goat, which my father bought for two Zuzim. Then came a dog and bit the cat, which devoured the goat, which my father bought for two Zuzim. Then came a staff and beat the dog, which bit the cat, which devoured the goat, which my father bought, right, for two Zuzim. Then came a fire and burned the staff, which beat the dog, which bit the cat, which drowned the goat. 
Then came the water and extinguished the fire, which burned the staff, which beat the dog, which bit the cat, which devoured the goat. Then came the ox and drank the water, which extinguished the fire, which burned the staff, which beat the dog, which bit, bit the cat, and devoured the goat. Then came the shochet and slaughtered the ox, which drank the water, which extinguished the fire, which burned the staff, which beat the dog, which bit the cat, which devoured the goat. Then came the angel of death and killed the shochet. It was like, holy moly, that's a bad image. Um, which slaughtered the ox, which drank the water, which extinguished the fire, which burned the staff, which beat the dog, which bit the cat, uh, devoured the goat. Then came the holy one, blessed be he, and slew the angel of death, who killed the shochet, who slaughtered the ox, which drank the water, which extinguished the fire, which burned the staff, which beat the dog, which bit the cat, which devoured the kid, my father bought for two Zuzim. So she had some commentary in her Haggadah, and I, <coughs> that was marvelous, that explained that these things represent things that we don't realize. Um, in other words, like um, the staff, it represents um, a nation that um, you know was in our history. And so th these things are very representative of other things. And I think what they represent has been lost. At least I was never told it. And it's kind of been lost over the years, unless you have a Haggadah that has great commentary. <coughs> Excuse me. So, because, you know, as I was just, you know, the English doesn't, make, why would a cat eat a goat? Cats don't eat goats. Um, so it's, you know, it's one of those things. Now I also came across um, the University of Pennsylvania Hillel recordings. I happen to go to the University of Pennsylvania and they have a very vibrant Hillel. And they love this song so much that they sing it not only for Pesach, but I think also for Sukkot. It's just a song they like and they, they like the, the, how it builds and how, what fun it is. Um, they may also do that with Who Knows One, I think also for Sukkot, which I think is so interesting. But at any rate, this recording, the Boys Town Jerusalem Choir um, is wonderful. Um, and I'm going to play it for you in a minute. The Boys Town Jerusalem Choir, apparently Boys Town Jerusalem was started um, back, I want to say World War II-ish. I'm not positive. Um, you can look it up. Um, and it was created um, for young men. So it's, it's orthodox. It's only men, young men from like 12 to 21 or something who were um, from uh, families that couldn't afford very much is particularly in the way of education. And it has been thriving since then and doing quite well. And you'll see, I'm going to play this. It's lovely. I think this recording is beautiful. These boys are having a great time and um, they go really fast. I'm going to warn you. So, you know, if you want to have Hadgadya open, that's fine. I think you're going to have a hard time following, but just enjoy it. So here we go. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I really like that. I hope you liked it. <laughs> okay. So um, I, those were all the songs I wanted to bring with to you, to go over with you. I'm happy to go over anything else regarding pass, Passover that you'd like. Nothing, nothing anybody wants to review? All right. Well, we're going to end a little early today then. Um, we don't have class for two weeks because it's Arab Pesach a week from now, and I will be very busy. I'm sure you will be too. And the following, the 22nd <coughs> is the seventh day of Pesach. So <clears throat> no class that day. So we'll meet again on the 29th. I will send an email, so there's no homework, although I do encourage you to practice a little, practice anything, whether it's from the Haggadah, whether it's from your prayer book, doesn't matter, just get some Hebrew in front of you and practice reading it. Um, but I will send an email and I will include the link for signing back into class so you'll have it handy and you won't have to be searching around for it, okay? Um, and I'm guessing that we're going to go back to Ashray when we meet again, but I'll have something besides that too. And maybe I'll tell you in my email, I just don't have it in front of me right now. So I don't remember. Um, but I hope that this has made you look forward to Passover even more. And I hope it will make for a very lovely Passover this year. Aksameach. 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 Everyone. <laughs> I hope it's sweet and not too tiring. Zis and Pesach. Zis and Pesach. Zis and Pesach. Absolutely. All right, ladies. I'll see you in a few weeks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Shabbat shalom.